This is Maelstrom, a fantasy naval combat game by Gunpowder Games. So sit down, grab your beverage of choice, and let me tell you a story. Gunpowder Games brought Maelstrom to Kickstarter in hopes to acquire funding to remain independent as well as gain a dedicated testing community. The passion in their work was clear, and with a small but successful Kickstarter campaign, the game moved into closed testing. Getting to playtest the game with the developers and provide direct feedback felt incredibly refreshing. And as the game moved into Steam Early Access, the developers remained active and engaged with the community regularly via their Discord. The community was very friendly, and every update the game got better. Balance changes were implemented that the community asked for, maps were added, bugs were fixed, but above all, the game played like a dream come true. The fast-paced naval combat was engaging, and players were having a great time. The game received very positive reviews upon its Steam release, with many players describing how unique the gameplay was and how the fast-paced combat felt refreshing. However, even though almost every player who had tried the game enjoyed it, the game never got the attention it deserved. Many of the negative reviews for Maelstrom say how they enjoyed the game, but there just weren't enough players. The devs at Gunpowder Games, not wanting their game to die, made several difficult decisions and got to work on their biggest update to the game yet. Open beta and a free-to-play launch. The port of Maelstrom is open and the ships are sailing in. Boats. Boats. More boats. So many boats. So many. Look at them all. Look at them. You think this is a game? Maybe it is. And this is a game review, so let's do it. In Maelstrom, there are three factions you can play as. The Human Phoenix Empire Fleet, the Orc Reaver Fleet, and the Steamborn Dwarven Fleet. Each fleet has three types of ships, a small sloop, a medium-sized frigate, and a hulking battleship. Each faction has unique traits that apply only to the ships in their fleet, and every ship within each fleet has a unique playstyle. What ship you choose and which faction you sail for is up to you. Once your ship is ready to sail, you can choose to go into the Abyssal Ocean solo or with up to two other brave souls. In solo mode, you sail to be the last ship afloat by whatever means necessary. Collect boons within each match to power up your ship. Boons can be gathered either from NPC ships or from sinking other players. As the match goes on, the dark waters move in, limiting the game area. Giant shark-like thrashers lurk these waters and are quick to bite down on any ship that stays in the black too long. Be the last ship afloat to emerge victorious, with hefty piles of loot awaiting upon your return to port. Already claim to share the Abyssal Ocean solo, or want to sail as a fleet? Then it's time for teams! In teams, you must work together with your allies to sink all enemy ships. Each player can sail their ship of choice, allowing for a variety of fleet compositions. But no matter your composition, it's important to keep each other alive. If you do lose your ship in the Abyssal Ocean, worry not, you will always have access to a lifeboat which you can control. You can scout for your teammates, or just cruise around looking adorable. Just look at how cute I am. I'm so cute. You wish you could be as cute as I am right now. However you end up returning to port, in your battle-hardened ship, or in your adorable lifeboat, it's time to take a look at the progression system. For every match you play in Maelstrom, you acquire gold. Gold can be used to purchase new ships, purchase upgrades for your currently unlocked ship, recruit mates, upgrade mates, as well as recruit powerful captains. Stock ships can be unlocked quickly, allowing you to test new ships easily. Upgrading your ship, however, will use plenty of gold, with each upgrade being more expensive than the last. Upgrades provide bonuses which are attributed to hard points on the ship. As you upgrade your ship, more hard point options will be unlocked, allowing for greater build variety and specialization. Upgrading your ship to Tier 10 will unlock that ship's unique Tier 10 ability. 
Tier 10 abilities are powerful and coincide with the ship's general playstyle. Cinder's Tier 10 ability, for example, is Ocean's Oracle, which reveals a large portion of the map around the ship, allowing Cinder to easily pick their fights and collect boons. While hard points upgrade the ship's base stats, mates can be recruited to further boost ship capabilities. Each mate has a class, such as Helmsman or Master Gunner, and provides bonuses to a specific area of the ship. While usually unlocked at Tier 1, mates can be upgraded to Tier 5, with every upgrade increasing the mate's effectiveness. At Tier 5, mates also unlock a special trait. These traits provide extra bonuses such as bonus damage to a specific ship class or opportunistic abilities like briefly turning invisible after sinking an enemy ship. Up to three mates can be assigned to each ship, allowing for a wide variety of ship configurations and playstyle customization. In addition to normal mates, it's also possible to unlock legendary mates. While being difficult to acquire, Legendary mates provide extremely strong bonuses, but always come with a drawback to balance them out. If you can work with the drawbacks, legendary mates can be utilized to create extremely specialized builds. Much like ship upgrades, however, it costs gold to upgrade mates, with each upgrade costing more than the last. And if you happen to acquire a legendary mate, those costs double the gold to upgrade. But they're so worth it! Once you are done tinkering with your ship and recruiting mates, it's time to assign a captain. Captains are powerful individuals of the Abyssal Ocean, each able to perform a unique ability called a Captain's Trick. Every captain is animated, has a backstory, and is sculpted by the gods. A Captain's Trick can turn the tide of any battle, getting you out of harm's way or delivering the final blow to a weakened enemy. Fade's Tempest can immobilize enemies, Lead can batten down the hatches to avoid damage, Axton can deliver a devastating broadside with Widow's Powder, and Flint's Balefire Blast can push enemy ships away or into hazards on the map. There are three captains per faction, and mastering the use of each captain's trick will separate an Abyssal Champion from the salty sailors on the seabed. Because you know what the difference is between you and me? I make this look good, and looking good ain't easy. Given that Maelstrom is a free-to-play game, there are plenty of cosmetic items to purchase in the store, with some that dramatically change the look and feel of your ship. Some of them are downright sexy. And if you want to diversify your sex appeal, there are also wind trails. Wind trails come in all sorts of colors and elemental variety. You can match them to your ship skin and look absolutely fabulous, Equip your most prestigious trail and display your accomplishments, or simply use whatever makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. And since I'm an alcoholic, I like to feel warm and fuzzy. More customization, you say? How about cannonball tracers? Give them a broadside and make it rain fire. Or order a round of beverages. For everyone! What is that? How can anyone call that a lifeboat? Don't be like that. Be something better. Like this. Ah, much better. Sail into history aboard the Red October. Ride a guppy thrasher like a true beastmaster, and then take to the skies in an airship like we're playing Guns of Icarus. Cosmetic items are unlocked with gunpowder, the premium currency within Maelstrom. Gunpowder cannot be used to upgrade your ship directly to mitigate pay to win, but it can be used to buy boosters to increase your gold and experience gain. If you do enjoy the game, the Battle Pass is well worth the money, providing you with a huge amount of gold, gunpowder, and other goodies upon completion. With or without the Battle Pass, there are always quests to do in the game. There are always three minor quests active, daily bonuses, as well as a monthly quest with a unique reward upon completion. Since you always have active quests, there is always something to work towards, and efficient completion of quests will let you plunder twice the gold you'd usually be making. If you are feeling a bit festive, seasonal quests add a little extra flavor with thematic cosmetic items and missions. If this wasn't enough, the game straight up gives you free loot. This might be gold, mates, or even gunpowder. 
it's the gift that keeps on giving. How is this possible? Let me explain. This game is amazing, and the devs are good people. I'm sick and tired of playing games that don't respect your time or money. I'm tired of games that feel like they're trying to rob you every chance they get. I want a game that's unique. I want a game with integrity. I want a game I can play with my boys! And that's Maelstrom! I have an incredible amount of respect for Gunpowder Games and the work they have put into Maelstrom. It's an excellent game that puts a great twist on naval combat. The fantasy setting opens up opportunities for creative gameplay that I haven't seen in other naval games. And the world you sail in is absolutely enchanting. You can see the kingdoms trying to survive by building settlements on whatever land they can. If you are a person of literature, there is an in-game wiki that explains both game mechanics and background lore. It might be a little rough around the edges, just how I like my wi- <coughs> BOOKS! But it has a lot of useful information in it. I really do hope the devs incorporate more lore into the game events moving forward as I truly love the setting of the Abyssal Ocean. While the game is very enjoyable in its current state, Maelstrom is still in active development. There are occasional bugs you will encounter, and the matchmaking sometimes struggles with finding a fair match. This can be frustrating, but there is nothing to lose in Maelstrom. Every match you play will have you gaining gold and advancing toward your next upgrade. Even if you sink, it's a great time playing with the friendly community. You can meet some great people in the lobby chat and read about their even greater ideas. Speaking of great ideas, looking at the development roadmap, we can see that Gunpowder Games has several additions planned for the game. This includes new factions, maps, game modes, as well as several other quality of life changes. The game has a great foundation to build on, and can really only get better from here. While the move to a free-to-play model is never easy, I think it's a great move by Gunpowder Games to welcome in more players, and make the game more accessible. There is no pay to win, doing quests can get you a lot of gold, and you can get premium currency just through playing the game. So what are you waiting for? Load the cannons and prepare to download! The winter event is right around the corner, and the future of Maelstrom looks promising. Even with a small dev team, Gunpowder Games has shown they are dedicated. I'm all for supporting indie games, and this one is especially deserving of the extra attention. I've been playing and loving Maelstrom since it was on Kickstarter, and wholeheartedly recommend it. The gameplay is captivating, and there isn't anything like it. If you believe in supporting indie games, like this video, share it, and plunge into Maelstrom. If you want to support me supporting indie games, then subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitch. My mission is to produce honest content and bring attention to underappreciated games and underappreciated ships. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming. I'm Ironclad Lion, and this is Maelstrom. The boy!